Howdy folks, and welcome back to Adventure Time. Today we're going to be finishing up the Islands mini-series by watching episodes 7 and 8, which are also the final two episodes of Season 8. These episodes are titled Helpers and The Light Cloud. These titles initially, especially The Light Cloud, uh, I mean really just only The Light Cloud, are reminiscent of The End of Stakes, uh, which I believe the final episode of that was titled The Dark Cloud. So I'm wondering if there's going to be any kind of connection there. Really, the only connection we've had between the two miniseries is the Two Bread Tom statue that we saw in the last video. Uh, that the, the humans from Stakes that Marceline was hanging out with kind of at the beginning of the flashbacks of that series left to go to the islands and kind of form the society. A lot of stuff went wrong, uh, as we saw last time. Uh, but also, speaking of last time, we got a lot of flashbacks, but not a lot of progress on the kind of current storyline as far as what's going on. So there's still some flashback stuff we need to figure out. Like I said, I need to know how Martin ended up in uh, Cosmic Jail. Uh, uh, we need to know how Susan ended up uh, from the islands back to the uh, to the mainland, basically, uh, which I think we've seen kind of a flashback that she was in a ship that crashed. Uh, I don't know if they ever gave confirmation of that, uh, but I, you know, would assume we were going to see some of that if we haven't already. Uh, and then in the present, you know, they still need to get to, uh, I think, Founders Island, they said they're going to. I was editing today and they mentioned the names of a couple of the islands, or I think Susan said we need to get to Founders Island because the Hub Island, which is where they were all living in the flashback, seems to have been abandoned. So. What kind of horrors await us on Founder Island, I do not know. Uh, but additionally, the one other thing I wanted to bring up is, and I noticed this as I was editing earlier today too, uh, this is only the day after I recorded uh, episodes five and six. So typically, you know, I only record two, maybe three videos in a week uh, because it takes me quite a while to edit them. Uh, I, like I said, I'm getting on this one. I have to finish this Islands miniseries because I need to know what happens next. Uh, but, uh, when I was editing, I noticed, and I noticed this while I was watching it too, they said that, uh, Finn's mom's name was Minerva Campbell, and I think I mentioned, I think I said Campbell, as, as they said it, and it kind of didn't really click in my head, uh, but I realized today, somehow I realized that the Fiona in the Fiona and Cake spinoff series that came out last year that I will be watching after I finish the main run of Adventure Time, by the way, uh, her name in that series is Fiona Campbell. So I don't know if she was ever given a surname in this series. Uh, you know, I'm still holding on to the theory that Fiona is real. That is a space on my bingo card. Uh, but with the last name Campbell, there's a little bit more connective tissue there. Uh, granted, these humans and the humans that the Ice King knew were about a thousand years separated, so if they kept that last name all throughout all that time, probably not, unless there's some coincidence that another Campbell entered the family tree at some point. But it's interesting enough that the connection is there. So I think that's about all I have. Uh, like I said, I'm super, super excited to see this. The last two episodes were absolutely phenomenal, and I absolutely can't wait to see what the finale of Islands holds in store for us. So let's scooch over here while I do the usual YouTube stuff. Leave a like on the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, all the YouTube things that help me out with the algorithm. Uh, the uh, most recent Adventure Times I've been posting haven't been doing as good as the first couple, so I'm really hoping that as I dig further and further into the Islands miniseries it picks up, but as far ahead as I am, there's no way for me to know. So either thank you for all for watching, or I hope this one does better. Um, but yeah, uh, let us pull up episode 7 while I do. Uh, there is a link to the Patreon in the description of this video. If you want uh, early uncut reactions, uh, by the time you see this I will be well into uh, Elements, or I should be, hopefully. Uh, so, and there's some good Hilda stuff coming. So if you're watching the Hilda stuff, we should have the, the movie. I'm trying to think when this is actually going to come out. The season finale in the movie should be well up over on the Patreon. Um, that's coming up soon as I'm recording this now, uh, which means it'll probably be coming up really soon on the main channel. But regardless, unedited reactions over on the Patreon if you want to support the channel a little further. But as always, I just appreciate you just watching here. Uh, but now, without further ado, let us get started with Season 8, Episode 26 of Adventure Time, Islands Part 7, Helpers, starting up in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, and while the intro runs here, my tea for tonight is Sleepy Time Tea with the, uh, the dog mug. Because of Jake. He's very much relegated to being a side character in this miniseries, but you know what? That's okay. What do we got here? 
helpers. Well, it looks potentially like... Fa I guess we really haven't seen any of Founder Island yet, We're have we? are closing in on Minerva's brainwave signature. So she's still alive then. Oh. Aw. That's, that's his her? first time seeing her. Mm -hmm. Dr. Minerva. Aw. Uh, oh, that transition from him to her. She looks nice. Aw. We're here, Finn. God, I wonder how that's going to be. Him seeing her, like, essentially for the first time since being a wee little baby, huh? <laughs> Don't worry, you're gonna fit right in. I don't know. From what we saw last time, it they seem a little close-minded to ideas that aren't theirs. Ugh. It's bizarre. It's. Finn. Finn. It looks like something out of a Doctor Seuss book. I remember enough about my old life to know that there were some dangerous people here, and let's all try to keep a low profile. Minerva. <laughs> oh no, Jake! Hey, yeah, where's Minerva? Like I said, Jake the side character still being very, very funny though. Does she have any chips or crackers or anything? Where's Minerva? Man, that's a pretty weird question. Minerva's everywhere. Additionally, everyone knows that. Oh. Just look around for somebody who needs help, and Minerva will be there helping. Oh obviously. no. Oh. Or is it like an AI? Did Minerva develop an AI to help everybody? Can I rub your dog's tummy, Mister? You don't even have to ask. <laughs> Just scooch right up and get busy. <gasps> He You're loves belly scratches. Dog? I was gonna say, Susan is just like a JPEG right there. Oh, there she is. Oh, jeez. But is it really her? I didn't think we would find her so fast. We can come. Or is it like a hologram, life. or a robot? Finn only. I hope it's actually her. Hello, young man. Is there anything I can help you with? No, that's an AI voice. This is gonna sound weird, but did you lose a son? Careful citizens, litter can be unattractive, yeah. but dangerous as Not well. programmed to respond to a question like that, right? Uh, Hello, young man. Is there anything I can help you with? I hope she's still alive. I really hope she's still alive. Are you telling me none of you has ever seen a talking dog before? That's crazy. Just a regular That's dog. crazier than the old lady who lives alone on that weather island. <laughs> Alva, yeah. <laughs> But is that really... God, and we still need to know what happened Frida. between them, too. Oh, Frida probably got re-educated, though. That's probably not the same Frida you know. I gotta get going and find my friends, but man, what a great crowd, though. One more joke! Yeah! yeah come on! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course Jake would be the most popular, I right? Jokes. I can do other stuff besides jokes. Like, um... Oh! <gasps> yeah, they don't even know that he can stretch, right? <laughs> Oh, no. What? No, no, no. I'm just a regular dog. That's right. Okay. Way back in episode one with Mr. Cupcake, the ship picked him up and said, Mute, dangerous mutant identified. So some of that re-education. Oh, yeah, that's right. Everything in the outside world is a danger, right? So because Jake is from the outside world, that's a danger that's come to them. Uh, the group think... The group think we're hitting on those themes from last time. Oh boy. I guess this must be pretty shocking. Oh. I am not programmed to be shocked. She just programmed WebMD into a hologram or a robot. Oh hey, Minerva. Oh no, she's gonna like pull out guns, right? Come for Jake. Disregard. You are creating a disturbance. Please help let oh. us help you help us to sedate you. Not quite a gun, but a magic. I think. Although now that you meant uh... And I'm yours. Uh... Dang. No hesitation. I am not programmed to hesitate. Even I if I love you, but your mom's a hundred robo clones. Those things are yeah. my mom. Uh, I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to rescue her. My, the only thought in my head is just, I really just hope she's still alive. That's creepy, though. I've had weirder fights than this. He's not wrong. Where the bone? Where are the bones? That's my hand. Baby's got an arm. Actual blood. Ah. Oh, they are programmed for shock. Oh, no. 
Taking them to see Minerva Prime. That's kind of creepy too, actually. I'll swim, I guess. Minerva 27, 28. Are they clones? Am I dreaming? Who are you? Uh, my name's Finn. My nerve above? Hug my son. You're beautiful. So is this a, just a feed or is this AI? Finn! Oh, you're so big! Last time I saw you, you were 6.875 kilograms and... Just a very buff baby, right? What happened to you? You've been gone for so long. Ooh, When you and right. Martin disappeared, I was left fragile as an eggshell. But Martin is a hider. He left with our baby. She immediately activated her most powerful seeker to bring you back. Okay, so this is what happened. You and your father were never coming back. And while I retreated, Dr. Gross's work turned strange and dangerous. Yep, we saw that. Dr. Gross's actions unwittingly led to the release of a terrible virus. It was COVID. the most catastrophic event that had happened to our species in 300 years. COVID. We tried to consolidate and quarantine everyone on Founders Island. COVID. The fatality rate in the general population grew to 62%. Oh. But the fatality rate in helpers is 100%. Oh, God. Or nearly. Worse than COVID. I made my decision. With my brain map uploaded to the web, I could be hundreds of helpers. God, the, the needs of the many versus Since the needs day, of the few, I right? I and cared for all my people. But that all doesn't matter anymore. You're back! And now you can live here in safety. For the rest of your life. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, that was the whole episode. Oh my god, I wasn't even ready for that to be over. Holy smokes. Uh, well, uh, that was a pretty straightforward one. Uh, absolutely tragic what became of Minerva. I'm wondering if her body's like dead in there or if, you know... Like we saw a couple episodes back with the uh, the humans in the reality island. I don't know if we got a name for that actual island, but the uh, the island where everyone was stuck in the, the MMO game or whatever. Uh, we saw that there were little sprite creatures that were like feeding them and taking care of them while they were like in their little pods, you know, doing whatever. So in my brain, there's a chance that Minerva's body could still be alive, but it also sounds like, you know, given the, the whole virus and everything and like the brain uploaded, I guess that's why it was so easy to track her brain waves, right? When uh, Kara, I'm, it's still so difficult for me to remember that her name is Kara and not Susan. I am, I don't know if I said this last time, but I really hope that it ends saying like, Kara's who I used to be. Susan is who I am now. And so I don't have to, you know worry about dead naming a character uh in a show because like i said last time we don't dead name here folks on this channel um man what a tragic twist to this thing um man that's that's rough like after all this time all this hope like maybe i can find out something like yes he's finding out something but it's not what he wants or how he wants it which is just absolutely tragic so really the only family he has left is martin who's off off with a catalyst comet somewhere doing God knows what. Um, still really hoping Martin comes back in this timeline sometime before the end. Uh, but I literally do not know how or if that'll actually happen. So, man, that's rough, though. But it's ah, it just goes to show. And now, you know, the title of this episode makes sense. Helpers. It's, you know, like like I, th I think I was saying right near the end there. The needs of the few versus the needs of the many, right? Minerva saw that there was you know, a great need. And she could have, you know, really she was going to die anyway, right? It was 100% or damn near close to it. Or they said something along those lines, right? I don't remember if they said it was exactly 100% or like basically 100%. But the fact that, um, God, even in the normal population, 62% mortality rate is insane. That's like, I was reading something that one of the deadliest strains of Ebola, I think it was, was like a 50% mortality rate. And they were saying that that was like some of the most like deadly virus that they've ever seen. So like a 62% mortality rate is like insane to me, uh, especially like, you know, having lived through COVID and hearing like, you know, all the arguments like during the lockdowns and stuff like, oh, the mortality rate's only one point whatever percent. But it's still it's that like it's like if everyone gets it and one literally 1% of the population dies, that's insane. That is so many people. And we still lost so many people during that pandemic. 
uh, which I think is still going on. It's still considered a pandemic, right? Whereas, like, you know, everyone's pretty much just gone back to life. Nobody masks up or anything like that. And, you know, what have you. Uh, but it seems like everything's kind of fine here. Uh, but, uh, man, just, like, how selfless. Like, yes, she was going to die anyway, but she could have just died and said, like, well, I did all I could. But she literally, she didn't do all she could if she died that way. Uh, instead, she, you know, literally put herself to use and... You know, she technically still lives on, even if it is, like, not in the flesh. Uh, she still seems like she had a consciousness there in the machine. It's just, you know, she can't actually hold Finn after he's come back after all this time, which sucks. And then, of course, there's the whole problem of the group think on the island and, like, their culture there. Nobody leaves. We're safe from all the mutants and everything. Yet, Finn has his life out in the mainland, and he sees, you know the beauty and everything that's in there and that he has to be there to help them basically, which now I'm wondering since elements to speak of the mutants and everything over there, since elements picks up immediately after this, I wonder if elements happens concurrently because Finn is not an elemental being, right? Uh, it's just slime princess, flame princess, uh, patient St. Pym and princess bubblegum. So theoretically we could have that mini series not feature Finn like really at all and just kind of focus on them and everything happening on the mainland if it happens concurrently which would be really cool but you know I'm half expecting Finn to go home I don't have any thumbnails in front of me because you know that's in season nine and we're in season eight so tough stuff for Finn uh but I really need to see now how uh how islands end so let us pull up episode 27 the season finale of season eight islands part eight the light cloud starting up in three two one go time. i also just realized i haven't taken a single sip of ooh, shipwreck i still feel like I'm there's so much we need to see i'm leaving my mom what a wild adventure yellow stretching dog uh just like that or is this a dream or something else? Oh no. We never should have left the island. Now we die. Well, roll credits. Come along with me. See, you die. By my calculations, you stand a 0.00001% chance of making it past the Guardian. So you're saying there's a chance. I have to get back to my life eventually. Did you see the simulation? You die. That's what I can show you again. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, literally. Yo, AI video's going crazy, huh? Where's the soup? Uh, I told you yesterday, we are a toy store. We don't Does sell Does the M soup. stand for maker? Hi, oh. Frida. Kara, what are you doing here? So she does remember. Hope you didn't come to get the soup. <laughs> Fuck off. I wanted to apologize for everything. <laughs> She's like, Kara? You smell so fucking terrible. Don't sweat it. Awkward feelings of her teeth. Let's have some soup. No, it's <laughs> Bemo. There's no soup. I grew up, and I learned to accept the founder's truth. The re-education. Frida. Ah, oh, that's rough. Really it cool. was expected, but it's I rough. Cool friends. Yeah. I live in a cool treehouse. Yeah. yeah. I go on cool quests. Yeah. yeah. I dated a girl who was made of fire. I've been to other dimensions. Why would they want to leave? We have everything you could need. You hungry? Soup. Minerva Bot, please show them today's specials. Soup. Happy home burgers with Ooh. chicken fries. And our famous cozy banana split blankie. Give oh. me all them specials in one bowl. Oh, I'm gonna fucking puke. That's nasty. Yo, their special's literally the nasty patty. If you're not gonna hear what I'm saying, then look inside my head. Danger zone. Oh, oh. Literally everything. Oh yeah, there's the, the girl of fire that he dated. Finn! I thought he was gonna lose his other arm for a second. Your world seems so chaotic. Your ruler's a piece of gum. Your friend's a vampire. Uh -huh. You dated a bit of fire. Your life is constantly yep. in danger. As your mother, I think you belong somewhere safe. You are grounded. Let the grass she turns into it. a creepy the vampire thing. Girl. No, literally the vampire girl is like the nicest character we know there. Minerva Bot 5, ready the cloud chamber so it can juice up your precious essence. <gasps> it makes sense now. The light cloud, Mom, the literal cloud, the server, I'm gonna right? I'm going to leave this place and take everyone to freedom. 
Okay, sweetie, but I think you'll find everyone's pretty happy here. It's true. I'm really, really happy here. Nice transition. Don't you remember your dreams of exploration? If I remember, I might get angry. Ooh. You should be angry. That gave me chills. Me. Hey, everyone. Susan can still get angry. Uh, excuse or Kara. Me. <laughs> Not the titty twister, no. y'all like living on Ouch. this tiny island because it's safe, but you don't have to live like this. All right, thank you. You gotta. Ooh, you I like this. The kind of dueling. Re-education, re-education, basically. But it's also fun and boring and good and bad. Life's never just one thing. Yeah. Yeah. We want to explore and and have experiences and learn new things. Oh no, this is working. made of candy. Beautiful dragons. Also, kingdoms made of slime, hot dogs, <laughs> ice, fire. Hey, this guy is great. What are we uh -oh. hanging around here for? Okay. What? Yeah. what? Oh, those helper bots are gonna turn, life. aren't they? You can leave now. Just come with me. Come along with me. All aboard! Snail! I saw the snail right on Finn's head. Hold on, we're going back. We're going back. There it is. Right there, right on Finn's head in there. A quick one, but you know, at the very least, it was on top of something that was a focal point of the shot. So it wasn't that difficult to actually like catch this time. But still, after going over two last time, I'm glad I, I pulled one out at least at the very end of things here. We'll take it. Attention. Oh no, the re-education, re-education, re-education. Will now be uploaded. God. Oh, now this is the light cloud. Once the field has reached peak saturation, the brain maps of every citizen will be simultaneously captured and preserved. Oh, that's horrifying, actually. Say goodbye to your meat bodies. That is awful. Mom. Fuck you, mom. Sweetie, you forced my hand. This is the only way I can protect you. She doesn't you. even have hands. I'm helping people. I know about helping people. And that's not what you're doing. Oh, look! All the times he's been an actual ass hero. She says, Was that the vampire girl again? Was that an alternate universe version of you? Finn, you. You grew up to be a helper too. He did. If your world taught you to behave like that, maybe it's not all bad. So, can we stop this? Okay. That was easier than i expected but i'll do everything i can to help you leave this island yay ahoy everybody now boarding the historic voyage of the humans back to the land of ooh wow oh you mean right now okay so ooh is like the continent while. i've still got some things to finish up <laughs> oh frida's gonna come though right yeah ready, frida's frida? coming ready yeah what a wild adventure, yellow stretching dog. No, this is it. You said it, beautiful baby boy. And then they die. Huh? All right, come on, that zero, 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 one percent oh, chance. Yeah. I still busted for Martin. Psych. Jebated. <laughs> That's right. Nice. Bye, Frida. Okay, good catch. Yo, what are they doing? Wait, are they uploading Minerva into the Guardian? Oh, look at that. Oh, is Finn still immune to electricity? Patching her in now. Oh, they are. But it's time to stand down. I mean, still protect from actual threats, right? When do I fire the torpedoes? <laughs> right now. <laughs> and then Finn does die on his journey home. I think we're headed in a different direction. Oh. Time for new memories. Where are we going, Kara? Are, are we never going to see I've them again? Thinking. I kind of like Susan better. Okay, Susan. I don't know why that's making me tear up just a little bit. Aw. Take care of yourself, Anu. Be careful when you eat. Fuck, the dude. <laughs> Too many can hurt your tummy. Your ship is moving out of range. Is this really you? Once you uploaded your brain and stuff, are you still the same person? I don't know for sure, but I feel like it's me. I mean, everyone changes over I time, as long as you have a consciousness, right? Goodbye. <laughs> me too, Finn. Wow, fuck, dude. 
you know, this is a series that never really never hits me in the emotions like super super hard. God, my eyes are red. Just the tiniest little bit, like always, fucking gets me. Like my eyes just looks like I've been smoking for hours or something. Oh, uh, Adventure Time is a series that never really, you know, hits me in the emotions super super hard. Uh, there's not too much connective tissue between uh, a lot of the episodes and even so typically it's just two parters or the occasional you know this is the second of the eight episode mini series that we've seen um there's just very very few moments that actually like really just like gut punch you man uh i think back to a lot of the uh simon and marcy stuff uh which is something i had included on the bingo card uh as you know a prime candidate to make me tear up and cry a little bit and it did uh, in that episode, Broke His Crown. Uh, but here, man, just this, like, the sheer tragedy, yet, like, also mixed with hopefulness of it all. Uh, man, it just hit. And then just, like, those final scenes of, number one, Susan. And I, she did go with Susan, just like I said, right? Um, Susan, Frida taken off. I really hope we see them again. I hope that's not it for Susan for the show. Um, you know, she can have adventures, but please come home. You have a whole group of people there in U, right? And Finn and everybody. Um, I, I really hope we see, especially after this, like I said before preboot and reboot, like Susan is a character that was just completely off my radar as far as like having a big moment or becoming important, right? And yet here after this mini series, she's becoming like one of my favorite of the secondary characters. So if we never see her again, that's gonna suck, man. Uh, I have become a 100% Susan Stan after this little miniseries, and, uh, you know, I wish her and Frida the best. Uh, that was, you know, just really touching. And then to follow that scene up immediately with Finn putting on the better, uh, virtual reality goggles or whatever, and finally, like, actually kind of hugging his mom, um, you know, because reality sucks, like it said on the wall, right? And so this is a better reality where he actually gets to hug his mom after all this time, right? Uh, man, that hits, that hits so fucking hard, dude. Like, that, mm, that was good. That was really good stuff there. Uh, my one complaint on the miniseries is that everything kind of wrapped up really quickly. Like, the whole threat of the light cloud for something that the episode was named after was a threat for all of about 20 or 30 seconds. Uh, and as well as everybody else on the island kind of got their minds changed, like, really, really quickly. I I guess Dr. Gross moved on and she's just kind of traveling the world now since she did show up in Ooh. She kind of broke her own rule, right? She showed up uh, in the outside world where all the mutants are, right? Granted, she's creating mutants of her own now. So I guess she's kind of left the islands behind, right? So if she can do it, anybody can, right? Uh, but she is still out there. She's still probably a threat. We probably have not seen the last of her. Terrified for when she shows back up, right? Uh, but as far as just convincing, like, all the people on the island for just, you know, it's been their whole culture, it's been their way of life for, like, presumably their whole lives and generations before them, right? Uh, for as long as they've been on those islands. Uh, just the fact that it just took just a tiny little, like, one person showing up and giving a speech to kind of change the minds of most, if not all, of the people around. That felt a little too neatly wrapped up in everything and yes no they didn't immediately go but at the same time like they're still now open to it so that it felt a little quick for that but at the same time like everything else just hit so hard and this mm, what a good mini series this turned out to be uh i wasn't expecting it to make me cry but here we are uh and it probably won't be the last time for the show either uh and you know just the fact that the show has now on camera hit me this hard uh, I'm gonna be an absolute fucking wreck for the series finale. I just know it. I already put on as the free space on my bingo card, crying at the song "Time Adventure" because I've heard it several times and it does destroy me. But just I just know the fact that whenever I hear it in context of the episode, it's probably one of those things like, "Oh boy, you have." If you think so, you have just no idea, and I don't. But I'm just expecting it to just leave me like a blubbering, pathetic mess. Um, but yeah, just the fact that this episode did it to me it was just like. I'm excited. I'm ready. Uh, Islands, I would definitely put it over Stakes. Like I said, Stakes was just like a good story of a character we already know and are familiar with. 
excuse me, got a little tickle in my throat. Uh, Stakes was just a good little story about a character we're already very familiar with. This was like felt a lot more lore heavy, given the fact that we're learning about like the main character of the show and his past and his whole species' past. Uh, but just, man, just like all that stuff between him and his mom just hit me like really hard. Uh, and I get another miniseries right after this with Elements, uh, which I, I don't know. I'm not far enough in the videos being posted regularly yet on the main feed to know how people feel about this compared. I feel like I've seen a lot more hype for Islands, but I don't know if that's just because it's like considered the best of the three or if it's actually just like because it was coming up really soon on the channel. I don't know, uh, but I guess I'll find out soon. Uh, next time will be the episode's orb, as well as the first two parts of the Elements miniseries. I don't know what they're called. I don't have it up. I don't want to spoil myself until right at about time. So come back next time for that. So uh, in closing here, uh, just ask for the comments. What did you think of Islands overall? Uh, where does it stand compared to the three miniseries for you? And hey give me some fake spoilers for elements while we're at it i haven't asked for fake spoilers in a minute for this so hit me with those and i will catch you next time for the start of season nine of adventure time take easy everybody